a bag. You guys, I want to do this video with my glasses on, but the reflection, nah, it, it's not, it's not going. So, a couple of housekeeping. Um, when I'm going to take my glasses off, excuse that I didn't like come with a full beat. I realize the only way I'm going to get these videos to you guys is if I don't have to be dolled up for every video. And I think that's what I was trying to keep up with. And um, life be life in it, and I don't want to do that. So, we're not going to talk about the elephant in the room. But I got a haul for y'all. I'm back. <laughs> I am very much what we consider a, a part-time reseller. Like, part-time inconsistent no well i'm consistent with listing and selling but coming on youtube i already know i know i know y'all gonna kill me i don't even know what my last video is i do know i filmed like two videos but we didn't edit it it ain't show up yet but um i don't even know if we're gonna edit i think we just gonna let this haul because this is a cumulative haul of stuff i've been <laughs> that i have um yeah that I have pulled some of this. Most of this is listed. No, I think all of these are listed. All of these are listed. Um, yeah. So let's just jump right in. If you are new here, hi. My name is Chrissy. This is Chrissy's Closet. I am a part time reseller. I've been reselling for over six years on, we all know the platforms Poshmark, eBay. Um, Vestier is my new one, and Depop. I kicked Macari to the curb. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, I was journaling <laughs> my progress on reselling and my small business. But now I am happy to introduce this part-time series for all of you guys who do not want to kick your full-time job, who want to make this a hobby passion and how you can grow. I wouldn't say grow, but enjoy it and enjoy it at a pace that works for you because I'm full-time employed. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a great friend. So I have a lot of things going on and you know, I, I find that some of these, I'm not going to say anything. I see that some of these videos require a lot of work and there's nothing wrong with those videos if that's the type of what if that's the business you want to grow into no problem i can tell you i've tried that path and oh i think my hands are ashy y'all have to excuse me um yeah and that's not that's not me so i decided let me get back to what's true to me and that is i love to thrift and i love reselling too and so if that's something you enjoy and you want to continue to make it your passion and just move at a pace that works for you then keep on watching all right guys so let's start all right I don't know what my last video was and I'm gonna keep saying that <laughs> but I have so much stuff to show you guys I am happy to say that I have finally grown my closet to over 200 items if you know anything about me you know that I prefer a very small closet not so much curated but I list three times, I list three items a day. That's real. Three items a day. I have grown, I have done listing challenges, all that stuff. I get bored by the fifth um, listing and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. So I probably could do five, but I'm okay with three. And yeah. So when I haul, I probably haul like once or twice a week, depending if there's like a holiday or if I have extra time off from work. Um... So whatever I grab, one, I get to make sure that I grab stuff that I love that brings me joy. And um, two, I don't have to worry about inventory. At least three, I sell two. That seems to be my recipe. So let's start. I'm excited to be back, guys. I'm excited. And I'm sticking to it. I am. I am. Which way should I go? You guys see I try to color coordinate, too. Did you guys notice that? But, all right, let's go with, okay. So I know it's spring. Oh, did I tell you guys? Okay, I'm in New Jersey, just in case you didn't know. So I know it's springtime here, but one thing I love to do, and I'm, I'm we'll save that for another video. But um, even though it's springtime, I know a lot of us are looking for shorts, bathing suits, spring and summer dresses. 
I never forget to look at sweaters and coats. Matter of fact, this is the best time of year for you to get good deals on coats because the stores want it out. Um, it's inventory that's just sitting there and they give good discounts on it. So I was able to grab this amazing teddy coat and teddy coats to me are staples. Like they're not going anywhere. They're warm, they're cute. So this is pre pretty little thing. Pretty little thing, plus new with tags. They're a teddy coat and it is a size 24. So like real good plus size. I think this was so cute. And it's like a little moto because it has like the little belt thing right here. Should I tell you guys how much I think I want to sell these for? I don't know. I think that's like, I don't know if anybody cares about like how much you plan on selling stuff for it. but and it has a little button right here right I thought this was cute so pick that up and I have a lot of items so I don't think I'm gonna do that now some of these hopefully aren't repeats um but if this is your first time coming it's all brand new to you next up I have this cute Zara woman blazer now this is old Zara tag I mean, we all know what, I hope we all know what the new Zara tag is, but this seems to be still be well made. I love like the little tulip bell sleeves right there. Look how cute that is. Lined, open front. I thought this was, oh my God, did y'all see that? I thought this was great. Some of us still have to dress up for work. Uh, or some of us choose to, because like my job, our new dress code is dress for your day. So you could pretty much wear what you want. But I still have stuff in my closet that are a little dressy. And I tend to glam up a little bit more than most stuff. I still dress up. This is a size small. And it comes with pockets. And the pockets are real. That's the thing about Zara, you guys. Do not pass on Zara. I know some people aren't comfortable with Zara. They consider it fast fashion. But Zara tends to have some iconic pieces. So I don't pass on Zara. Because there are some Zara pieces that I remember. I can't even believe I have it on this thing. Hold on. This was a great find. And I have it like just slung on a hanger. Um, Zara, there's still Zara pieces that I remember that I didn't get. And I will still search for on the secondhand market. So, you know, as long as it's quality looking, you're good to go. Now, I might slip. I might skip a little Zara slip dress. Actually, I won't because I like to call myself the Zara Whisperer. I sell my Zara pieces. All right, this was an amazing find, and I'm mad I don't have a nice hanger. Okay, so this one needed a hanger, and I had to go get one, so that's why. But this beautiful dress, there is no way I can show it to you guys. I would have to step all the way back. This is new with tag. Fame and Partners. Their dresses sell for like $200 plus. This was... Chilling in my thrift store. Um, I'm sure I paid up for it, but it was probably like $25, $30. But, you know, this is new with tags. New with tags, beautiful dress. Um, it has like layers upon layers of material. And then all the way underneath is a lining. But I think the lining, the lining is more like mini. But it's just gorgeous with this beautiful lace up back right here. Zip and the best part is this is a size 10. So I could wear this if I wanted to. I just don't have nowhere to go. But beautiful, gorgeous. And I can't believe I just had it. I am taking care of it, but I must have had to use the hanger for something else. But yeah, Fame and Partners, guys. I don't know, is Fame and Partners sell like it used to? I remember that used to be a big thing. This is listed, but I think it's only been a week since I listed it. And by the time this comes to you guys, it would be two weeks. So. Yeah, so now I like try to color, co co color coordinate <laughs> my racks. So. Next up, now I've had this for a while. And I, I don't know, I feel like this is a repeat. I don't know. In one of my videos, I'm pretty sure I showed this. So this is Prana. Um, I don't like selling Prana. And I think I took a chance on this dress because, yeah, I feel like I pulled this dress in January. I mean, I haven't had a video in a long time, but you guys. 
I feel like if you saw this already, sorry, it's a repeat, but it's still in my closet. I'm giving up on Prana. It, it, I don't do well with it. I don't think I do well with a lot of athleisure wear. But that's also because I don't wear it, and maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so this I've already shown. I know that. So this is another coat that I picked up. <laughs> this I'm taking a chance in. And I've been reselling for how long have I said? Over six years, and I take chances, and I get burnt by my little chances that I take, but if I can see me in it, I'm just like, why wouldn't anyone else buy it, right? Like, you know, I love fashion, so I like inhale it. So I'm like, come on now, this this is a staple in your closet. All right, look at this coat. You guys can't tell me this coat isn't gorgeous. I'm gonna come up. So you see, like, look at that. What is this called? Like, it's like that eyelash something type fiber, but I could tell it's decent made. I, I don't want to go as far as well made. There's no tags, no brand, but it's just like, oh, if this was at any vintage store, I would definitely pick it up. Look at the buttons. How cute is that? Look at this color. You guys, this is stuff like Aritzia would style. It is lined, so I know quality, but whatever tag was here, somewhere around was a tag, and I could tell that they ripped it out. But there's no brand name, but look at the seam. Do you see that? This isn't cheap. This isn't cheaply made at all. But because it doesn't have a brand, I'm hoping Style would sell, like Depop, but like, so I'm going to wait on this, because I'm sure by um, fall, winter time, this is out. I can tell this must be like a small, because I'm like a medium large, or maybe, yeah, this is like a small, because I'm sure it's supposed to be like more oversized, but like, can we, can we just, like why, you see what I'm saying? Anyway, and it's got shoulder pads. You jizz up the sleeves, that's my thing, jizz up your sleeves, and, there you go. So I'm hoping Style would sell this item because, like I said, it's unbranded. Um, I don't even know what I called it in my listing. Probably unbranded faux wool something coat, but gorgeous. Um, I expect Depop. I think this will sell on Depop. Because Depop is big into style, you know? All right. I feel like this is a repeat too, but I'm not sure. Young, Fabulous, and Broke, this will be the last time I pick up Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I have never been that lucky. I mean, it sells, but it doesn't sell fast for me. This is new with tags. This is called, I want to say the Deanna dress, right? And it ties up here. What size is it? Oh, it's a large. You know what? I think I might take this for a spin. If I take it for a spin, then it's going to be pre-owned. Yes, I wear my inventory sometimes because if it's just going to sit there. This is cute. Oh, you know what? This is definitely going for space. Oh, you guys. Hold on a second. You guys. Can we? Can I? Oh, I don't know. But I feel like I can't. I feel like this splatter in the dress and the splatter in the boots. Because there is a little blue in there. Oh. <gasps> My next outfit. My next outfit. Y'all didn't want to grab it. And it's been sitting in my closet. So now both of these items are sitting here. This I got to Nat. I got from Nashville. I went on a work trip. And I got a bunch of boots. And I am selling them in my closet. One has sold already. This one is in my closet. But I kind of don't want to sell it. I, I want to keep it. Because look at the sparkles. Oh my god it smells so good. It's like real leather. And now... Tell me if it's weird. Tell me if you're like, you can tell me. I don't care. I tend to be a little more chancy with clothes. I wear the outfits where my daughter is like, where are you going? Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm going to have fun with it. It always comes out cute. Anyway, that's not what I was saying. Anyway, if y'all don't grab this, she will come down and I will wear it. And I will have fun. And then I'll put it up pre-owned. But new attacks, Deanna... It's like a midi dress. It ties right here. And so it's fitted on the bottom part. 
So maybe I won't wear it. But this Young Fabulous and Broke, and it's a size large. Isn't that more like teen size? Anyway, I just made an outfit in my head. I love that for me. Oh my God. So this Madewell cardigan is a gorgeous, this gorgeous pumpkin color. I don't know why it looks weird on the hanger. This was mine. I do sell a lot from my closet. I recycle. Um, this is a gorgeous pumpkin color. I got this off of Whatnot from one of those amazing sellers. I don't do Whatnot anymore either. You know what? Nothing against live selling. It is time consuming. It's not easy. And remember, what is my channel? This is a passion hobby. Part time. Very part time. I can't give up that much time. Just setting up the video for this. This is what I'm doing on my lunch hour. Which I need to hurry up. We're already 20 minutes in. My husband's going to kill me. <laughs> We're going to have to breeze through a rest. Or he might like fast forward a lot. But um, this beautiful oversized knit cardigan. I enjoyed wearing this in the fall. Um, but I have a lot of sweaters. And I can't make it pretty on hair. I don't know why. But yep. Great quality. Um, but what is the material on this? Okay, 24% okay, wool, wool blend, wool blend, grandpa cardigan, excellent color. Um, you can find that in my closet as well. This Fashion Nova romper right here, um, great for the summer. I love selling plus size pieces. This is a size 3X. I probably have this for like $25 in my closet and I'm willing to take, um, offers it has this is like a suede type material it's quality it's not like cheap i know it's fashion over but it this is like quality like you ain't sweating through this um pockets this looked like it had it was supposed to have a belt but i tend to always want to wear my own belts so cute size 3x all right that's just here Another thing I took a chance on, this just spoke to me. This happens to me often. <laughs> this is Mac Studio. I don't even know where they sell Mac Studio, but this is extremely lightweight, but doesn't look like it's lightweight. Like it has structure. This pleating is very Issey Miyake, right? You see that? Um, beautiful threading throughout. Cute dress. I want to say it stops at it's oh it's midi. It's very midi. So yeah. I'm looking at the viewfinder and I look fine. I just hope with the camera shooting, like yeah, that we're good. Um, I probably should have stepped back a little bit more, but I didn't want to be that far away from the camera. Anyway, that's in my closet too. This is interesting. So and I feel like this was in one of my other hauls. So I apologize if this is a repeat, but it's still here. I think I picked this up right before Valentine's Day. This is Rubber Ducky Productions. Never heard of them. It's been selling for six years. Let me show you the tag. This is a beautiful dress though. You see that? Rubber Ducky Productions, size medium. Like how it looks on a hanger is how it's fitting on your body. Bodycon dress. This right here goes across the boobs, does its a thing. But I didn't think I got it up in time for Valentine's Day. Anyway, it's still sitting in my closet. Rubber Ducky production dresses go for $100 plus. But it seems to be like a wholesaler who sells dresses for industry. Like for um, shows and stuff like that. They seem to sell to stylists for those shows like it was weird. like i was seeing things like when you go to rubber ducky productions i don't know they also have a wholesale site but then i don't know what led me to like seeing also seen on tv and it was like a lot of their stuff so yeah but it's very for like i guess rubber ducky productions productions it seems to be like for that and i don't know how i got in my thrift store but i picked it up because i thought this dress was gorgeous and of course when i had hauled this was like right before valentine's day but i didn't get it up in time next up and I'm breathing through this because I need to hurry up. Sorry if some of these are repeats. 
How fun is this jacket? I love bomber jackets. I love quirky things. I love unique things. I wish I could spend more time on vintage items, but I think vintage items requires research and time. And so if I can't do a quick search, hmm. But I have another vintage item that's like, oh, gorgeous. Matter of fact, I showed it in my Instagram. It's a beautiful nightgown. Anyway, this is Spencer Jer Jeremy. Um, I hope to sell this on Depop. Size medium, 100% silk. This is a silk bomber jacket. I don't think this is vintage. This is like the artsy. Eh, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah. Let me take that back. This looks vintage. The tag alone looks vintage. But, yep, beautifully lined, size medium, no stains. If you're interested, it's on my Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. But I would give you a great deal on that. Okay, we can skip this because I know I showed this. Oh, you guys, I don't know why this is still in my closet. And I have a stock photo and everything. Wait, is it a size small? Maybe that. No, it's a size large. This, I'm going to take a, this set of spin on. Oh, it ain't my type of large. Zane, the boobs ain't booping. This is a smock, beautiful, floral, length. Think Emily in Paris, lightweight, just flimsic, whimsical, whimsical dress. It's a size large, Lulu's. And it's just, it's gorge. And it's still sitting in my closet. I mean, I know, like, it's still cold and people are dealing with all, like, snow all over the country and just dip in the wind but yeah great dress um this I'm sad to let go of my closet I have lost some weight I am happy to announce but enough for me to know that I can't wear this <laughs> I bought this because this was going to be like um like I was thinking of like this oversized chunky like knit sweater with a belt but why did I pick up a size 2X? So I picked up a size 2X. This beautiful long cardigan still sitting in my closet because, of course, I can't wear it. It's just a little too big. Um, a New Day from Target. Do we tag? They wanted $40 for this. But this is gorgeous. Like, this is gorgeous. And that's what I'm saying. All these stores, like, you're, well, except for Shein. But your Fashion Nova, your Zara's, your Target. Sometimes they have like pieces that I can I consider to be like closet staples are iconic. Like don't pass it by because it's Target and be like, oh, I'm sitting that much. They might not make this again. So that's why I would pick that up. But that's in my closet. Like I said, I'm a Zara whisperer. This is new Zara. This is what the new tag looks like. And I also picked this up, I feel like, around Valentine's Day. I was picking up a lot of red and pink then. So... Different, quirky, but I think this is more fall time. And I don't know why. I think this is like a cool teacher should wear this. Like, I would wear this to work too. It's a size small. Um, but like, yeah, I love dresses that have these type of patterns where when I put it on, it's an instant outfit. So that's what I think of when I think it is. This other dress is so beautiful. What size is this? Because this, I'll take a spin in this. This is old Zara tag. Very old Zara tag. But here we go when I talk about Iconic. You see how I just... I'm not even showing you the front of it. And I know you're gagging. I know you're gagging. I know you're gagging. This is Zara. Yes, it is. Crushed velvet dress. I just stand on my tippy toes because I want to make sure you get the full effect. Not sure if you do. Um, oh, winter 2017 and 2018. It says it. Made in Morocco. Here we go. Excuse my ashy hands. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take a spin of this if it doesn't sell. No, this needs to sell because I can't wear it now because this is very much full. No, I would wear this on a summer night too. Oh my God. I would wear this, you guys. Lacy bra. Very lacy bra. Not this bra. Very lacy bra. Leave it open like this in the summertime. What? With your bronze skin? Because we're all tanning in the summer. No matter what melanin we are okay we all tanned in the summer this and just let it let it do what it needs to do and let it hang the way it needs to hang that's how i see things another dress that's in my closet and i can't believe oh good i do have my vintage nightgown in this haul 
the front of it. This beautiful full maxi. This is crochet. What do we call this? These eyelet, like eyelet design. It ties right here in the front. It has a little cutout, very recent. And I know why this is in my closet because I'm not selling this for cheap. It's new with tag. It's eloquent. It is size 14. Um, and I don't believe I'm asking for a hundred dollars in this. And I know y'all like what? Girl, it come with pockets. It come with pockets. This is a staple that will be in your spring and summer wardrobe for years to come. So you can't give me $25 for this. I'm sorry. I just won't let you. And so therefore I'm okay with it sitting. But it's a size 14. It looks a little wonky on here because of how, let me see. Cause I, look, I'm not even helping it sell. Here we go. But it's a, it's definitely a plus size 14 because it's too big on me. And I wear anywhere from a uh, medium, large, 10, 12, 14. <laughs> Dude, I'll wear a double X. You can see that. If I like it and it looks good on me, I'm wearing it. So this is beautiful. But it's new Italian. It's still sitting in my closet. And that's all right. The right buyer will come along. They always do. What are we at? Oh, my God. I'm like freaking out about the timer, but my husband like cuts off half of the stuff. So this is a beautiful vintage nightgown that I listed. It doesn't matter because by the time you see this video, it would have been listed. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Like, do you not? Do you not? Now, this is a small. This is Gosard Intimates. This is a vintage brand. No, this is a brand that has been doing lingerie for a very long time, all right? Right before World War II, 1930s. I believe he started with nylons because I looked it up on that fashion guild. Um, this part, this one I researched. But is she so gorgeous? No scent, don't worry. Doesn't smell because I don't deal with that. And it is beautiful. Like your inner... Your inner glamour right here and it just swoosh. I mean you can't see from like but I'm just gonna look at that look, look how flowy beautiful it does have one little issue but you could easily stitch that I could probably stitch that but I was like no I don't want to mess with the integrity of the nightgown my whoever purchased it can easily get that um taken in but yeah and I have her. Wait, did I show you the tag? I didn't show you the tag. Let me show you the tag. Gosar, did I say intimates? Gosar Artemis? Artemis? There we go. 1960s or 70s. Made in the USA. Only reason I say it's probably 1970s because it said ma machine wash. Not that they didn't have machines, washing machines back in the 60s because they very much did. But I was like, maybe it's more 70s. I don't know. But I have it. All right. Simple Eloquy blouse. I will never leave Eloquy. Okay, this you've seen before. I will never leave Eloquy behind. Um, size 14. I think this might be what my friend gave me to sell for her. But yep. Blouse. We also need this. Not much to talk about there. So. I was talking to a friend and she wants to get back. She wants to get into thrifting, right? I think she's excellent at fashion style and fashion taste. But I don't know if thrifting seems overwhelming to her. I think that's what she said. Um, and it's like, how do you find the gems in the thrift store? Which I think I might make a series out of to show you how to thrift. Because a lot of us resellers, we have a good eye. And that's just been doing this for years. We know how to like bypass, you know, stuff that's not worthy. I don't want to call anything trash. But stuff that's not going to, that's worth our time. But I did tell her how I thrift for, you know, to resell and then how I want to thrift for myself are two very different things. There are a lot of more things I think I would pick up. But I, the, anyway, so I want to do a series on that. But if you're watching this, quick tip I like to tell people is like, okay, if you have a rack full of clothes like this, right? I know all of these are gorgeous, right? And wouldn't you be happy to come across a rack with all, you know, A1 things to pick up? Yeah, but if you ever come, if you're overwhelmed, it's just like if you go out to the city or a party, there are people that will have outfits on that you're like, oh my God, I love what she's wearing. That's what I think of when I look on a rack. I'm looking like, 
Oh, I, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that, what you got on? Let me, where'd you get that from? Like, that's what I think of. And that's what makes me pull items. I mean, I'll explain it more in depth when I do that series, but yeah, just a quick thing. Anyway, I say all that to say, that's what happened with this dress. It was on the rack and I love prints, but I love prints that are like, not overly loud like i don't think this is gaudy at all this to me is very anthropology right i i see anthropology spring summer and that's what i thought i was picking up new with tags is it new with tags it is new with tags i just don't know where the hair it is new with tags it's scoop you guys this is scoop Scoop square neck midi dress with a ruffle. And if you don't know, Scoop is sold at Walmart. But I wasn't letting this go because this is still a gorgeous dress. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, the reason I kept picking it up because it was new with tags. It's new with tags and it's a double XL. I don't know. This don't look like a double XL. But this is like a respectable double XL. Because sometimes, do y'all notice that sometimes with the plus size clothes, I'm like, why does that thing look so huge i mean tell me it's not like that huge but yeah so i don't know if that made sense but hopefully it did all right next up is this torrid super soft knit dress not sure if i showed this in one of my previous videos but here we go in pockets love to pick up torrid I feel like I've already talked about this. Okay. This is a Target Kushni. Remember Kushni at Target? I picked it up mainly because I have, I still have a slip dress from Kushni. And I thought their clothes were well made or she. I think it's the, the stylist one. But they're no longer making clothes. But so there were some of the Target collabs that were like, yes, you have to pick up. that like the christopher john rogers <laughs> i picked up that this is a boohoo dress very lightweight new with tags i think it's cute it's a size eight i don't know if i told this torrid is a double zero which is like what a 14 kushni is a 14 and this is a size eight y'all how cute is she this is free, people. It doesn't have the tag, but it has like that 66170 thing, whatever. Um, right? Yeah. 66170. I'm mad because I don't have the style number for this. But I think I saw a purple one, and that's how come I knew it was free, people. Gorgeous velvet smocked dress. I really think my pictures are killing me. It gets so many likes on Depop, but no one is buying it. And I think... I know it's my pictures. I have got to do the pictures again. I put it on my mannequin, but my mannequin has, um, my mannequin is black and I think it washes out just how brilliant this color is. Um, oh, you know what? There's no size tag. That might be why people are a little worried about it. It, it measures out to a small, but I, you know how free people is. We could make this a medium if we wanted to. Tons of like, very beautiful, no issues except no size tag, and that's it. We know it's free people because it has its RN number, so that's that. And this is my second time finding this brand. It might be my third because I think I had some shoes by this brand. This was chilling in the thrift store. And I was like, oh, I looked at it. It was like going through the racks. Let me come up. You see the little daisy print. Going through the racks. And I was like, oh, that's cute. I know I'm definitely picking it up. You know, it was like me here. Like the dress was here and I was over here. But I was making sure like no one, like nah, y'all yeah, not about to reach over here and get this one. Anyway. It's Suzanne. It is Suzanne. Size 36. I don't know if Suzanne is still a rage, but Suzanne... I hope I'm saying it right, is like 100 plus, $100 plus Re on the resale. Beautiful summer dress. This is adjustable by you pulling the string right here. 
So, you know, you can make it as short as you want just by pulling the string because this hikes up the dress, right? How cute is that? New with tag, size 36 um, converts into a size 4, um, but it's oversized. It, there's a lot of room, so maybe even a size 6 could fit in this. New with tags. So, I was excited to find this. Um, yeah, I had a great haul. I had a great haul this past weekend. Um, I went when it was raining. And I was like, half of me was like, oh, don't go. But I was like, no one else is going to be gone. So that's the whole story to myself. And sure enough, I was right. I found a lot of good pieces. And I can't wait to share with you in part two. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Wait, what time is it? I think it's up. And I have a meeting that I need to join. Okay, good. Still good time. Um, thanks for joining. No, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, um, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.